you hurt my feelings. Bitch, I'll punch you in your fucking face. Shut we up. We used to, I remember we used to, it was so great picking on each other in that fucking mentality because we were trying to, we were trying to say shit to hurt each other's feelings. Right. And the moment that somebody got their fucking feelings hurt, like for real, like yeah. somebody's like, no, like, Mulroy, for real? You mean that for real? <laughs> You know, he, you didn't know if he was playing or not, and then you knew he'd, he'd immediately, they'd also be like, no, man, I'm just fucking with you. Come on, man, don't be don't be cool. Be cool, man. Don't get mad at me. Yeah. No, nah, man, fuck you. you you're going to say that about me? Yeah. No, nah, come on. He, he, the, the meanest person would turn into the bitch about, hey, I'm sorry, man. Come on, don't be mad at me for real. Dude, we used to play that shit all the fucking time, because you sit around in the bin room, like, motor pool Mondays, you know, yeah. shit like that. We I used to love the fights. Huh? Where you'd fight platoons. Yeah. I yeah. Love doing that yeah. Go outside and grapple and shit. Yeah, combatives. We're doing yeah. combatives training. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody had combatives certification <laughs> to do combatives fucking training. Yeah. So it's just a bunch of fucking assholes that are just like, well, I watched a lot of UFC <laughs> yeah. and I've got some rank. Yeah. So you two can fight, you know, but don't. No punch don't, him in the no face. No punch him in the face, you know. <laughs> can we? Can we drop tops? Yeah, yeah, you can drop your top. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to see you get choked out by your own shirt. No, if we're over here on the gravel, you need to keep your tops on. Keep your tops on, that gravel's going to hurt. Yeah. Fuck, man. Buck, Buck was good at it because Buck was super good at wrestling. Yeah. And he had this awesome, he had this awesome, he'd fucking slide in on his knee and yeah. hook up underneath your fucking leg and yeah. spin around and grab the back of your leg. He'd be back that way. And he'd be up on one foot hopping yeah. and he'd fucking take you on the ground. Oh, shit. I was just... I was just, I didn't know anything. I really didn't remember anything except for a little bit of the combatives trainings we got in, basic, in basic yeah. training, man. And I was good at it then, but man, it's not shit. Mm -hmm. Like now, like, because I got certified as a level one combatives instructor. Yeah. And it was way more. Oh, yeah, you get punched in the face. Yeah, it was, well, yeah, when you get down to the end, mm -hmm. yeah, they do the boxing gloves and you have to. Get a clinch. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Sergeant Stewart? Mm -hmm. That's what I was confusing for that. Because that was my other combatives instructor. Because he was level three, sir. Yeah. And that dude was scary. He was, but he was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was awesome to us. Oh, he loved his platoon so much. Mm -hmm. Everybody was scared of him. He Everybody hated me because I was fat. Dude, I remember yeah. one time I was doing But he up. was fat, too. Like, dude, that dude had... Like, he needed to evolve one more time to be with the rest of us. That, that dude was still stuck in kind of caveman <laughs> phase, man. Like, when you, you have a forehead that's big enough, right, to stick out past your fucking your eyebrows, <laughs> right, that, that rain doesn't get into your eyes if you're standing in it. Girl, Magnum. And then your, your lower jaw is stuck out like a fucking uh, knuckle-dragon fucking caveman. That's what he looked like. Right. Sergeant fucking Stewart. Yeah. Jesus Christ. He's the only dude. And we used to fuck with him. Me and fucking Engel used to fuck with him. Because our platoon was squared away. Multiple Mondays, right? Get in there at 9 o'clock. By 10 o'clock, everything's fucking done. Everything. Even the stuff that they had planned for after lunch to do, right. we got it done. And the reason why is so we could sit around, not be bothered in the fucking bin room. Nobody fucks with us. The doors are closed. They yeah. think, they don't even know people's in there. And we could just either, one, sleep, like a lot of us did, because right. we're still just working Drunk. off the fucking alcohol. <laughs> right? Yeah. And the other ones would just sit there and talk shit all day yeah. and fuck with people. Well, Sergeant Stewart loved that, too. He didn't have to go hang out with the other platoon sergeants. He had to go talk to first sergeant. He had to go see the commander. He had to do off sergeants, nothing like that. He liked to fucking hang out, and he didn't have to do all deal with all that bullshit. Right. So... And he knows he would let down a little bit of that fucking hands. Hey, I'm not with Soon Sergeant right now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He'd want to fucking hang out. And uh, he always stood there. He always stood there like this. And he did the Durso fucking stand. Yep. He'd stick his hands way up into he his fucking shoulders. <laughs> stick his fucking head down like this. Like Sarmo used to do, man. Or first Sarmo. Mm -hmm. Fucking. And he fucking stared at everybody. So me and Engel have probably already done, got probably four or five smoke sessions already in. And we're bored, and we we would walk up to Sergeant Stewart and kind of nonchalantly walk up there like I'm just kind of fucking with something, blah blah blah. I'm just trying to get close to you, so we try to make it so he didn't see what we were doing. He knew what the fuck we were doing, right? And we'd go up and we'd stand like a little bit beside him and a little bit behind him, and we fucking go. We'd look at him and we'd go, right. <laughs> And just start copying him. You just start fucking copying him, right? And he'd fucking 
would look over at you like this, fucking see what the fuck you're doing. He's like, because you'd be like, is this, this fucking goddamn private just standing <laughs> next to me? The platoon sergeant? Yeah. <laughs> right? And he'd, he'd fucking grab a hold of you, man. He'd grab a hold of you and put you down into fucking like something on the fucking ground. He, he, by the time I hit the ground, my arm was already like yeah. half bent back. <laughs> Trying to the break, but yeah, yeah, it's hurting. I'm just painting the floor yeah. with my fucking hand. You know what I mean? He's already in it before we even hit the ground. And he'd be like, you going to keep fucking with me now, fucking cup? you going to keep fucking with me now? I'd be like, you have to fucking break it, Sarn. You better break it. You, I, I ain't quitting. You better fucking quit. I'll break it, Sarn. Break it. I'll tell everybody how we broke it. Come on. And he'd be like, you fucking pussy. And get off of me. And he'd be like, and everybody would be cracking up laughing. Oh, everybody yeah. would crack up laughing. And it was just something because we were bored. We had nothing to do. Yeah. We had nothing to do. We're sitting around. We're just trying to kill time. 